welcome you all to the agrivision for you youtube channel my name is piyush ulivkar and today we are going to discuss the uh, gate 2022 xc paper particularly fluid mechanics let us discuss the next question and uh, in the question it is given that uh, uh, the horizontal belt of negligible weight as shown in the figure moves with a steady velocity of 2.5 meter per second so that means you have given the structure like this have belt over it 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 is put in the oil so this is the oil the particular uh, velocity of the belt will be 2.5 meter per second okay so now uh, it is given that the depth of the oil is h so this is the oil and the next it is given the length of the belt is 2 meter and the width is 60 cm find the viscosity of the oil so we have to find the viscosity of the oil given that the minimum power required to move the belt is so the power is given here power to rotate the particular belt with the velocity of 2.5 meter per second so it is given of 100 watt okay. so power is given and ultimately uh, at the end we have to calculate the viscosity the dynamic viscosity of the fluid that is the oil so we know basically that the power equal to force into velocity okay since we already have the value of velocity that is the 2.5 meter per second the our main task is to calculate the force so we know the force equal to stress into area now the area is known since we know the length and width okay now task is to calculate the shear stress so we know the definition of the shear stress is mu times du by dy velocity gradient in the vertical di direction and this is what we need to calculate at the end so uh, we will go step by step here since we know here power huh? okay so we basically know the power so from that we will get the value of force then we will put that uh, value of force here and ultimately we will get this and uh, we will get the final answer so i am putting the values here that is the 100 watt equal to force into 2.5 so here what is the value of force so now by this way we can the equals stress into the area the area length into width okay. so length into into width will be the contact area of the particular belt to the oil so therefore we will write it as the 2 into 0.6 meter so i converted that thing into the meter and then ultimately you can find okay so put that value of the shear stress to this particular equation and then now um, since uh, you can observe that pointer here the velocity of fluid will be zero and here the velocity Uh, has a certain value so that means the if you uh, try to calculate the gradient here so you can write it as directly velocity by height h okay why because this is stationary okay so that's why i wrote like this here and mu into what is the velocity we know the velocity of belt 2.5 and gap is 3 cm that is 
so by this way you can calculate directly the value of mu so i hope the concept is clear and i can find here the value of mu is 0.4 okay so very easy question so now let us move to the next question so the next question is if flow has a velocity potential okay so we have the velocity potential ax cube a, a is a non zero okay so that is necessary condition so the following statements is are true about the flow to check the incompressibility we have to check the whether it satisfy the continuity equation or not so for that uh, first i need to calculate the uh, <coughs> del u and p so here it, it is given that okay so we all know this formula del phi by del y okay so in this way we can calculate this as this will be zero okay so we got the values of u and v and now you uh, we can find the uh, whether the flow is incompressible or not so by this way continuity equation and if you put the values here you can find So of zero equal to zero. So this is not equal to zero. So that means the flow is not incompressible. Okay, so that means this option is not true. So now let us move to the next point. That is the flow is irrotational. So we know the check whether the flow is irrotational or not. It is del v by del x. if you calculate this uh, this will become zero and this will become del u by del y it is also zero so by this way we get the zero so that means the flow is irrotational okay so that means this sentence is true now the next is c and d we have to calculate the local acceleration and the convective acceleration so for that we have the definition of the acceleration as acceleration in the x direction so if we try to find the uh, so we know that basically the local acceleration and this is basically convective acceleration okay so if you know we can calculate that the del u by del t is zero here plus we will get the value of uh, some value of the convective acceleration that is if you put the value of u here 3 square into del u by del x that is the 6 ax plus v is 0 so that means whole term will be 0 so we have some value of the convective acceleration and we don't have any value for the local acceleration so that means it possess some convective acceleration term so that means this is true and this is wrong okay so i hope you got your answer so now let's move to the next question okay so uh, this question is little bit uh, you can say that uh, it is a direct question also or you can say that it is very complicated question also it depends uh, on up to which level you just try to solve the potential flow so we all know that uh, 
first we read the question that a two dimensional flow field is described by a combination of the source <coughs> of strength m at the origin and uh, a uniform flow so that means you have continuous uniform flow here let us take the positive x direction and it has the velocity of u and in between the source is present here having strength m okay so if it possess some strength in all the directions so definitely when the uniform flow will come so it will create the geometry like this okay so this particular is known as the half ranking So the flow will be like this. So I just wanna uh, zoom the particular figure to this only. So uh, if you draw a vertical line at any particular position, like here, from here to here, if you draw a line. And if you want to locate the particular position, then you can locate directly it as zero comma i a by two. So now the question arises: What do you mean by that pi a by two? Okay, so to explain this, I will first tell some basic thing. That is, if this is the combination of the uniform flow and the source, then uh, you have the equation of phi. as you i hope this thing is basic thing and you all know that thing so ux plus of uh, this particularly uh, it is written that m by 2 pi and here ln x square plus of y square so this is the combination of this is for the uniform flow and this is for the source term okay so sometimes in many book it is directly written as q Okay, so instead of m by two pi, uh, in most of the books it is written as the q. Okay, so both are true. Okay, so both are the dimensionless number means if, even if I divide the source by the two pi, the answer will be uh, will change, but uh, uh, the <clears throat> you can say particularly it won't affect that much. Okay, so if you divide this particular term by two pi, then that, that won't affect much. so now let's talk about this particular term so the question arises what do you mean by a so if i okay so what do you mean by m it is strength and this is the velocity okay so as you can observe that this pi and this two are the constant term the things will only differ by the term a so i wrote here a and by this way uh, you can put the value of uh, the particular a here so you will get 0 comma pi a by 2 so i will put that value here 0 comma pi by 2 into m by u okay so that is the clear definition but here what happened that Uh, my notations my my personal notations are different and the notation present here is different so i will put uh, i will just take this in this question m is taken and i am taking it as m dash okay so m dash so what i will be doing i will just put that uh, this this particular thing m dash m dash is equal to m by 2 pi okay so i already told you so put the equation here m by 2 pi u okay so this pi this pi will will cancel and you will get m by 4 u so this particular thing is for this distance only okay and in the question it is asked that find the distance a a dash means if this is a and this this is a dash then you have to multiply it by 2 okay so you will get m by 2 u so uh, here i guess the option d is your correct 
Okay, so I hope you try to understand. This is little bit uh, you can say very uh, logical and uh, uh, basic question. If you try to derive this particular pi a by two, then it will take lot of efforts. Uh, but uh, since uh, in the book of Frank M White, it is directly given pi a by two. So I told people to directly remember that particular formula pi a by two. That's it. And what do you mean by a? It is the strength by velocity. so i hope uh, this question is clear